dibs on drums and first say on the mic. Rule number six for life is stay on the bike. And as soon as you can, you get rid of the training wheels. There's no way to explain how good entertaining feels. It's better than nothing, and it's more fun than pinball. When it's done poorly, it's enough to make the skin crawl. It's like chewing on tin foil, and the only thing worse is when kids pedal drums without paying a few dues first. So don't ask what my drums are, because I either won't tell you, or else I got a list of phony records to sell you. Because see, no one helped me, and as a matter of fact, there's a thrill in the hunt for a platter of wax. It's called searching for the perfect beat. The honor is prestigious to those with the knowledge. And to cheat is sacrilegious, I'm talking bootlegs or reissues, I avoid them like the plague. But don't ask where I look, cause I'll lie or be vague. I'm on the lookout for beats every little second. Check country and western, even heavy metal records. Leave no stone uncovered, and for every ten token, you may find none with ten hours spent looking. But that's what makes a good score so rewarding. Even if you spend 20 bucks on a rare record, so don't ask what my drums are, cause I either won't tell you, or else I got a list of phony records to sell you. My beats aren't familiar, so you can't put your finger on them.